Production and trade are among the fundamental engines of economic growth in a globalized world economy. However, one critical aspect stands out, the connection between production and environmental pollution. This visual series is part of the SMEP program, established by the United Kingdom's Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office in partnership with UNCTAD. Through these episodes, we'll analyze the role of exports in industrial pollution caused by important manufacturing sectors in the Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia regions. Plastic pollution is also on our radar. Using evidence generated by the SMEP program, we'll indicate ways to solve this problem, which is critical for the local population and the entire planet. We'll address these issues by taking a closer look at the policies and technologies used to combat pollution in four sample countries in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia, Kenya, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Tanzania. Located in East Africa, the United Republic of Tanzania attracts tourists from all over the world with idyllic beaches, remarkable landscapes, which include the famous Mount Kilimanjaro and abundant biodiversity. So let us have a look at the country's economy figures. The United Republic of Tanzania exported $4.4 billion worth of manufactured goods in 2020. The analysis highlights the importance of the food and beverage sector in the country. It's a very diversified sector with significant economic influence. The sunflower was introduced to the region during colonial times and is one of the most high-valued and exported vegetable oils in the world. Thanks to the significant amounts of sunflower oil production, a large amount of residue is produced. And this is used in the country's sunflower oil cake industry, creating jobs and generating growth. Sunflower oil uh, industry in Tanzania uh, currently is growing uh, because of the uh, two major things. One is because of the demand from the livestock sector. Tanzania being the second largest uh, country in the number of the population of cattle in Africa. Production aimed at foreign markets, however, causes significant environmental impacts, especially energy consumption, water consumption, solid waste, and wastewater generation. It has a clear impact on marine ecotoxicity, resulting from emissions of fertilizers and pesticides, as well as emissions of heavy metals in the transport phase. Um, an example is uh, with, with the issue of, you know, you know, uh, mercury um, uh, leakage you know in the water bodies and you know eventually getting to you know fish and other edible marine products which would eventually you know cause for example you know some chronic diseases like cancer so you know having these high level judicial officials understand the whole value chain it makes them understand why it matters and uh, how, how much their role is when it comes to really enforcing some of the laws and policies that are actually in place when it comes to addressing the issue of environmental pollution from that end. So that is exactly what UNEP is doing, trying to really match between the knowledge, science, uh, technology, all the way to policy, linking policy with practice and eventually helping the enforcement of some of these laws. So training the you know, high level judicial officials is one of the aspects or one of the approaches that we, we are looking at when it comes to environmental pollution and addressing many you know, pollution in Tanzania. And uh, the last thing on the uh, sunflower oil and the sunflower industry in general is about the, the, the production side. The demand is very high and the supply is very low. So um, normally when we interview farmers, the main complaint is about uh, getting the proper uh, sunflower seeds, improved sunflower seeds uh, for massive production. Because at the moment, they really uh, destroy the environment by planting sunflower in a very big plantation, but the, the output is very low because of the type of seed. They, most of them, they use a lot of seeds, and the output per acre is very low. 
So I would rather advise uh, international community and uh, international organization like Anchored and others if we could research more on the best uh, sunflower seeds uh, to improve the production. The key role that academia and institutions play in helping the industry mitigate and prevent pollution by running an entire product life cycle analysis or providing innovative solutions along the value chain has enormous potential to transform all industrial sectors in any country. There's quite a huge uh, impact to the environment uh, across the value chain of the sunflower uh, oil production and it is quite huge. So uh, since moving to these uh, kind of adopting alternative solutions, uh, we can see that people are actually taking that uh, action uh, at their hands. For example, uh, in a soliciting support from uh, the institutions like universities uh, in the research industry to come up with uh, solutions, innovative solutions that can help the public. For example, in the markets, for example, in the uh, local startups, we sort of like engage them. I would say four, tire area, four areas that we are really focusing on. Area number one is on, um, you know, to do with policy, strategies, plans and budgets. So looking at how we can integrate the issues of waste management, the issue of pollution, you know, be it chemicals, waste, you know, water or air pollution, integrating them on policies, plans and budget. At least they have, you know, so that they have the right allocation of budget, you know. It's around the area of knowledge management. So creating awareness you know, uh, bringing understanding of, you know, of the risks of all these, you know, sort of chemicals and waste at the country levels. But area number three is also to do with uh, uh, specifically, you know, uh, sharing uh, knowledge or, you know, uh, supporting with, you know, environmentally sound technology. And of course, linked to this is with the issue of, uh, you know, reduced manufacturing, uh, use, and disposal of this kind of waste, okay? So this, these two are actually linked together. The issue of alternative technology and the issues of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, reduced uh, manufacturing, uh, use and disposal of, you know, hazardous chemicals. So these are the four areas that UNEP is looking at when it comes to this. This is how SMEP works. Identifying challenges by listening to local voices and funding the development and implementation of solutions to the industrial pollution in targeted regions. Our aim is to improve the environmental governance of production and exports, paving the way for competitive and environmentally sustainable products that are compatible with SDG 12 and value the health of workers and populations involved in the production of goods we all consume. Want to know more? Visit our dashboard for a complete overview and data access resulting from the work of the SMEP program.